Welcome to the spectacular Top 7. The Top 7 Mafia Bosses of All Time. The Mafia has been a part of our culture for hundreds of years and its influence can still be felt today. From the infamous figures of Al Capone and John Gotti to the lesser known mob bosses, the power and influence of the Mafia is undeniable. As one of the most powerful and feared criminal organizations in the world, the Mafia has had some of the most notorious bosses of all time. In this video, we'll explore seven Mafia bosses of all time and discover their stories, what made them powerful, and how they eventually lost power. 1. Al Capone Al Capone was a powerful leader of the Mafia in New York during the 1920s and 1930s. He started his criminal career as a bouncer in Brooklyn, eventually rising to become a leader of the criminal world. His power stemmed from running illegal gambling, prostitution, and bootlegging operations, among other activities. His reign of terror lasted for nearly a decade before he was convicted of tax evasion in 1931 and sent to prison. Even while in jail, Capone continued to be a powerful leader of the Mafia until his release in 1939. Capone's downfall came with increasing pressure from law enforcement, which eventually led to his conviction and imprisonment. This ended his reign of power and influence over the Mafia in New York. 2. John Gotti John Gotti was a powerful mob boss who ran the Gambino crime family from the mid-1980s to 1992. He was known as the Teflon Don for his ability to evade conviction despite numerous prosecutions by the US government. Gotti was born in 1940 and first rose to prominence in New York during the early 1970s. By the end of the decade, he had become one of the most influential and feared mafia leaders in the city. During his tenure as boss of the Gambino crime family, he became the highest ranking member of the organization. Gotti's reign of power lasted almost 10 years until he was finally convicted of murder and racketeering in 1992. This ended Gotti's time as leader of the Gambino family and resulted in him serving an 11-year sentence in prison. His death in 2002 marked the end of one of the most notorious eras in New York mob history. Free Charles Lucky Luciano Charles Lucky Luciano is widely considered to be one of the most influential mafia bosses of all time. He is credited with establishing the first organized crime syndicate in the United States, the so-called Commission, which sought to coordinate criminal activities among various mafia families. During his reign of power, Luciano was involved in a number of illegal activities, including prostitution, drugs, and gambling. He also used his influence to facilitate the development of several labor unions, some of which were later charged with racketeering. Luciano's reign of power lasted for more than two decades, from the 1920s until his eventual arrest and conviction in 1936. During this time, he was able to expand his criminal empire across the United States, even while living in exile in Italy. His downfall came when he was betrayed by a subordinate and convicted on charges of pandering and prostitution. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison, but was released early due to his alleged cooperation with the US Navy during World War II. After his release, Luciano was deported back to Italy, where he died in 1962. 4. Vito Genovese Vito Genovese was an infamous mafia boss who had a powerful reign from the 1930s to the late 1960s. He was born in Italy, but moved to the United States and quickly rose through the ranks of organized crime. During his time as a mafia boss, Genovese controlled much of the criminal activity in New York City, including gambling, prostitution, and drug trafficking. Genovese's power lasted for over three decades until his own actions led to his downfall. In 1959, Genovese was charged with ordering the murder of a rival mobster and was sentenced to 15 years in prison. This ended his reign of power and his mob was soon taken over by his lieutenant, Harlow Gambino.
Genovese served out his prison sentence and died in 1969 due to natural causes. Though Genovese's rule was short-lived compared to some other infamous mob bosses, he still managed to leave a lasting legacy of criminal activity in New York City. 5. Carlo Gambino Carlo Gambino was one of the most influential mafia bosses of all time. He reigned as the head of the Gambino crime family for more than a decade, from 1957 to 1976. During this time, he was said to have earned more than $1 billion in illegal activities. Gambino is credited with turning the Mafia into a powerful criminal enterprise, and his tactics of intimidation and extortion allowed him to gain control over much of the organized crime in New York City. He was also known for his clever negotiation skills and ability to create alliances between rival gangs. Gambino's reign as the top Mafia boss came to an end in 1976, when he died of natural causes at the age of 74. His death resulted in the passing of power to his brother-in-law Paul Castellano, who would take over as head of the family. After Castellano was assassinated in 1985, Gambino's cousin John Gotti took control of the Gambino crime family. 6. Joe Bonanno Joe Bonanno was a Sicilian-born American mobster who served as the boss of the Bonanno crime family from 1931 to 1968. He is widely known for his role in the Mafia Commission of the early 1930s and for leading the so-called Bonanno War in the 1950s. Bonanno had a long and successful reign as the boss of the Bonanno crime family. He managed to remain in power by skillfully playing off rival mob families against each other. During his tenure, he strengthened his family's grip on criminal activities in New York and around the world. However, Bonanno's reign eventually came to an end in 1968, when he was forced to step down due to internal conflicts within his own family. This conflict was caused by his nephew, Salvatore Bill Bonanno, who wanted to gain control of the family business. After being deposed as boss, Joe Bonanno went into retirement in Arizona, where he lived until his death in 2002. 7. Tony Accardo Tony Accardo, also known as Joe Batters, or Big Tuna, was one of the most powerful and feared mafia bosses of all time. Born in Chicago in 1906, Accardo rose quickly to become the leader of the Chicago outfit in the 1940s. He held this powerful position until his death in 1992. Accardo's reign was marked by a ruthless approach to business that earned him respect and fear from both allies and enemies alike. He was known to use extreme violence against those who dared to cross him. His power and influence extended across the US and Europe, allowing him to amass a significant fortune over the years. Despite his criminal activities, Ocado was able to stay largely out of the public eye due to his low-key lifestyle and his ability to stay one step ahead of the law. However, he eventually faced legal troubles in the late 1980s and early 1990s due to increased scrutiny from law enforcement agencies. This, combined with a changing landscape in organized crime, eventually caused Accardo to lose some of his power and influence. Despite this, he remains one of the most renowned mafia bosses in history. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications.